Today's reading is from John chapter 20, verses 24 to 29. Jesus appears to Thomas. Now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, and put my finger where the nails were, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them, and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Our reflection today is, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. At the Last Supper, the disciples tried convincing themselves that they had all the faith they needed, saying, Hey Jesus, we will stand with you no matter what. You can count on us. But Jesus knew. He knew within their hearts there was fear and doubt. He had seen earlier in Mark 9, verse 14 to 24, the doubt in his disciples' hearts when they couldn't drive a demon out of a possessed boy. The boy's father asked Jesus, if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. If you can, replied Jesus, everything is possible for the one who believes. Immediately, the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. This cry from a man who was heartbroken over the state of his son, he was desperately hoping that Jesus' disciples could help. And when they couldn't, he began to feel doubt. Jesus' words that prompted this cry for help were both the gentle reprimand and the reminder that he needed in that moment. Everything is possible to the one who believes. Mark nine twenty three. I have needed to hear that on my Christian journey as well. For as much as I love the Lord, there have been times when I veered into doubt. Whether my attitude came out of fear, upset or even impatience, it's revealed a weak area in me. But within the conversations and the healing in this account, I found great reassurance and hope that my faith can always keep growing. Becoming stronger in our faith is a lifelong process. The great news is that we are not expected to mature on our own. God will do the work in our hearts. Doubt is an experience common to all people. It is a hindrance to our walk and it can be an obstacle. Doubt is to lack confidence, to consider unlikely, a tool which Satan uses. Satan introduced doubt into Eve's mind. Did God actually say you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? He wanted her to lack confidence in God's command. We as Christians are to believe God in trusting him even when the plan goes against human reason or experience. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, you know us better than we know ourselves. And there are times in our lives when things and situations come against us and sometimes the pressures of the world wear us down and we become weak in spirit. Help us to understand that your strength is made perfect in our weakness and those are the times you carry us. Please help us to believe that your plans and purposes are always for our good and for your glory. Lord, we do believe. Help us with our unbelief.